called Stablecoin Payment Settlements. Our presenter is Alexi Lane. And in summary, he would like to share with you his idea, which is that stable coins can make payments more efficient through the blockchain. And he will also connect to Visa and MasterCard, which makes the process more user friendly for the end customer. So a big warm welcome, please, to Alexi. Thank you. Thank you, Sarah. It's a pleasure to be here. Let's, make, let's have some fun. So my name is Alexi. I'm very happy to be here and uh, present you Everax. Everax is the blockchain development company with the focus to improve card payments, money transfers, and currency exchange. And we work on the problem of how to use advanced technology to help merchants, uh, online entrepreneurs, small business owners to receive money faster from their payment service providers so they can run their businesses more efficiently. And we have a solution for that. Today we see the demise of brick and mortar retailers all over. Huge brands are going out of business and we see the rise for online shopping, which is great. But the payments are still behind the game. Probably some of you heard about the expression in the world where Amazon delivers packages faster than banks settling payments, the only way for money to catch up is to send them by a plane. And that happens because from the time when online shoppers enter the payment information on the website to the time where, when actually the small business owner, the business owner receives payment in the bank, it takes from two to five business days. And the same applies for international money transfers, where wires can stuck for days in the correspondent banking limbos. So what Everex offers is to reduce the settlement time from a few days to just a few minutes by utilizing the hybrid approach of combining existing uh, Visa and a MasterCard uh, technology, which is the best part is one second authorization, and combine with the one minute settlement from the blockchain. But these two systems don't talk to each other, so it must be some secret sauce that we want to use. And this source is one word, stablecoins. How many of you heard about or know about stablecoins? Great. Whatever you know, forget it. Because in our system, we treat stablecoins <laughs> as another electronic money, the same money we use from day to date. The only difference is that instead of circulating within the banking and the payment network, it actually is circulating on a blockchain. So. Here I have a fresh 100 euro bill, all right? And I want to digitize it. I'm going to a bank, I give it to a teller, I make a deposit. A few minutes later, I see this 100 euro in my banking app. Or I go to the same bank who happens to be stablecoin issuer. I do exact the same process. I give the teller 100 euro, and I'll see 100 euro coins in my blockchain wallet app. So for us, it's the same money, just different technology. And the advantage of the blockchain technology is because we can settle these payments peer-to-peer, -peer, which takes a little bit less than a minute, and it's global. That's why we want to introduce the system. So the point is simple. If cards were always attached to bank accounts, why not we try and attach cards to the blockchain? So the actual Visa MasterCard can be connected to the blockchain wallet operating with stablecoins. Let's see how this can work in a real-time example. Meet Michael. He's a savvy online entrepreneur based here in Munich. He sells skincare products to the US market. And because he knows his business, he optimized his sales, his cost, he sources traffic from the United States webmasters, his designer development team located in Argentina, his uh, supplier ships goods directly from India, and he has loyal 24-7 customer support in the Philippines on standby, ready to answer any customer call. He has to pay them every week to keep the business going. And because he offers risk-free trial, which is common for his area of business, he cannot use Amazon, he cannot use PayPal. He has to use a direct merchant account, which is not a bad thing, but because he's an online merchant, uh, not only he uh, has to wait about 30 days for a risk-free trial to end, but also he gets paid two weeks in arrears. So he constantly has these cash gaps in the operational capital to keep this business going. Here's how Everex can help. 
What we offer, and please bear with me, this is going to be a little bit technical for now. So what we offer is to retain the authorization part from the Visa and MasterCard networks, but replace the acquiring part with stablecoin payments. So when the online shopper makes payment on Michael's website and his online amount is ready to be captured and all authorized, except instead of sending this money to all long journeys through acquiring backend processing and acquiring banks, we actually keep this money in the issuing bank where the processor also have an account. And what we do is, by, at the end of the day, we transfer this money via interbank, which is free and instant. And the moment we get it, we convert them to stable coins, one to one. And we can make the same day payment and settlement to Michael's wallet. So he will receive payment in stable coins in the wallet instead of the bank account. And now he's able to buy more traffic, uh, pay advance to, to the supplier and get his business going. But this is not the end of the story. In fact, it's only get started. Because he just he is able to pay his suppliers the same days, which we gradually move to global payments. So now his Indian supplier and the, and the Filipinos are paid with uh, US dollar or euro stable coins. But except of the US guys, they don't need dollars, they don't need euros, they need pesos, they need uh, rupees. And that's where Everex comes. Either we direct there or through the partner, we will be happy to buy their dollars or euros and pay them in the local currency and make extra 1% on the spread. This is how we attach the second layer of the business, which is currency exchange. But it even gets better. Michael just brought us four new customers at zero marketing cost. Why don't we issue all of them a debit card, which is stablecoin backed, which is as a multi-currency stablecoins, so they can shop locally, pay to each other, send money, whatever. And this way, because we see all the data, we can follow it and chase the merchants and sign them up. Because really, if you sell merchant accounts as, as the ISO, you don't have any advantage because the cost is all over the board. It's all the same. You're fighting for micro uh, basis points of the interchange. This would will, 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 will give the advantage for the uh, uh, PSP. So let me summarize. What we offer here is three-in-one solution, which combines payment processing, currency exchange, and global remittance in one product. It's like First Data meets Revolut meets Western Union. And like I said, the advantage is we can lure and sign up more merchants by offering them better product, faster se settlements, lower processing fee, access to more markets. And for the cardholders, also a lot of benefits because they can now do inter instant money transfer globally and participate in the cashback pro programs, which we can develop together with the merchant. What we offer now, what we have and what we need. So Everex can bring to the table five years of blockchain R&D. We have fully functioned wallet, which is currently operational. We developed the backend system. Uh, we serve uh, three markets right now. We operate with Euro, British Pound, and Thai Bot, and a few stable coins, all US-based. So if you happen to travel to sunny beaches of Thailand, we will be happy to take your Euro and pay you Thai Bot, even if you don't have a Thai bank account, because we offer cardless ATM withdrawal at no charge. Okay, so what we're looking for is a strategic partner to help us to integrate our platform, which is blockchain-based, to the front-end card payment networks, which is not yet developed. And uh, on that, I will finish up my presentation and yield my time for questions. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, great presentation. Thank you very much. Um, the big payment companies like Adyen, uh, they offer, they tend to offer instant settlement now. We are also working on this. I mean, um, why sure. should we go for a stable coin um, in comparison to existing solutions that offer T plus zero uh, settlements for merchants? True. Well, the two reasons. First is the interoperability and the cost. If you are, again, I'm not, I know the Aiden is a B2B, it's a backend processor. I'm not familiar exactly with their model. I'm sure, I mean, we, we're not alone in, in, in this space. We're not the only one who solves this problem. But what we can bring to the table is um, 
interoperability in the sense that if you, let's say, have a Revolut and I have a PayPal or I have a WeChat Pay and you have an N26, we can't pay to each other because we are not the members of the same club. We have to use some inter kind of connector, which is either SEPA if we are both in EU or SWIFT. But SWIFT, we know it's not good for small payments. It's only, and it's long. It, it, it takes time. So blockchain can be the third interconnector. If, but again, we have to operate with the stable coins. That's where we believe it's more scalable model than trying to develop this solution within the Aiden or similar processor. Um, love your pitch. Great slides. You walked through it really, really well. Um, obviously, a more mature kind of thing than what we heard before. Um, and even more so as a crypto investor, that's right up our alley. So awesome. Thank you. Um, don't know for the ones who didn't know, you're from Asia, that's where it's happening. Asia is huge on crypto. And um, So uh, one or two questions. Um, you're going into an existing market with a new solution. Are you putting anybody out of business? Actually not. We want to work. Exactly. We are not trying to compete with this. This solution is actually for the back end. So we, it's not that we're promoting the brand Everax. It's just basically for uh, like a sample. So the idea is to offer this to B2B provider like a Wirecard so we can kind of license that and offer it as a white label. So it's not that we try to limit it uh, to specific uh, com company. Okay, it... then very quick one. Um, what's the go-to market in terms of region? Um, I would think there's other solutions like Terra that are you know, very Stable, big, yeah. big on this one as well. What, what's the... Is, I... What's the competitive advantage you're trying to play out in what segment? Thank you for, for, for this question. Uh, blockchain adoption. The thing is, uh, it didn't happen as every, everyone was predicted. Because operating blockchain wallet requires more, I would say, knowledge from the user. And we believe by putting the cards, which everybody is familiar with, and the front end will uh, use, uh, it will bring more user adoption. Because in our case, uh, stable coins will be running basically on the back end until we see more adoption. And then we will tweak the model. A question on how you said blockchain is difficult, people don't adopt it. So, how will you convince the merchants to go into this? Again, by offering them same, uh, same day settlement. Okay. Using st st stable coins. Okay. So, because basically, like I said in the beginning, why it's important to understand our version of a stable coin, because our stable coins are not going to be traded on, the, on, on exchanges. It's basically within the closed loop. So, for merchant, like I said, it's the same e money. And in fact, they don't have to cash it out every, every time. Why don't just pay forward? It's basically indefinite pay forward for another wallet, another wallet another wallet. And like I said, we don't, we don't want to lock them in one wallet, it's just in, in the beginning. But later on, we can offer the white label. And in this case, my previous example, when like a Revolut and N26, if they're both on our, our platform, they can talk to e each other. That's, that's the idea. Just in the interest of time, thank you. I also love the pitch. Um, actually, I had the same question as Sebastian with the market entry strategy, etc. So that was covered. Um, just from the pitch, um, because you started with the Amazon and the retail examples, I would have skipped that slide and go right into your merchant example, because I think it was a very tangible stuff and rather spend more time on explaining the use case. Like, look, this is how you could do it today, and these are the downsides to that, but with Everex, actually, you would flip it, and this is then the, the more ideal uh, situation. All right, thank you. But thank you so much, really liked it. All right. Thank you.